It's been a tough year for stock investors in 2022, and many expect volatility to persist as we head into 2023, given high inflation, rising interest rates, and a slowing economy. Against this backdrop, we at Morningstar think it's prudent to favor companies that have competitive advantages, or what we call economic moats. These types of companies have more resilience in the face of economic uncertainty than companies that don't have significant competitive advantages. But today, we're looking at companies that do not have economic moats, are facing headwinds in the current economic climate, and look overpriced to us. Given their prices and economic vulnerability, we think these stocks are ones to cut loose going into the new year. First is Old Dominion Freight Lines. Old Dominion is the fourth largest U.S. less than truckload carrier by revenue. We think Old Dominion is the clear industry leader in terms of execution and service quality. But that being said, freight demand is moderating as goods spending continues to shift to services and inventory restocking diminishes. Plus, Old Dominion stock trades well above our fair value estimate of $201. Next is Global Foundries. The chipmaker is benefiting from richer content in smartphones. But even so, management expects macroeconomic and geopolitical uncertainty to hurt sales in the first half of 2023, and we think the negative impact could last longer. Current market prices imply stronger growth than our expectations, and we peg the stock's value at $45 per share. And last, there's CF Industries. CF Industries is a leading producer and distributor of nitrogen fertilizers. Now, we view CF shares as overvalued, as the stock trades well above our $85 fair value estimate. We think the market is forecasting higher nitrogen prices for longer. Nitrogen prices have fallen over 30% since reaching a multi-year high during the second quarter of the year, and we expect prices to fall further in the coming years. For more stock insights, be sure to subscribe to Morningstar's channel and visit Morningstar.com.